Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another first impressions video. I've already unboxed this as you can see. Um, this is a <clears throat> 2019 spring edition of the Jibun Techo Biz in the A5 slim size. Um, the cover I chose was the matte black. I did order this off of jetpens.com and I will leave that link down below for you. Um, I wanted to initially try the biz at the beginning of this calendar year, but they were like sold out everywhere, even on Amazon. And when I did find them on Amazon, they were selling for like ridiculously high prices. Um, I believe this one was $41.50. Um, and on jet pens, if you order $25 or more, you get free um, standard shipping. So that was nice. Um, so I did go ahead and order the matte black. And it's like this, you know, like plasticky, like leather looking material. Um, it's got a pocket here that goes all the way down. It says 2019 on the front. Um, then you open it up. Inside it's clear. And I did buy the um, index tabs that uh, they offer. So I've already put those on. But you have three card pockets. And then your book slips into here. And in the back you have another like little um, like slit open it up and then you have a pen holder um, I was trying to fit it into some of my like covers that I have and so it got a little bent up but I'm not worried about it um, I did order a cover from so what else is new on Etsy um, it's the same place that I got the um, and I'll show it to you the Harry Potter cover for my Hobonichi cousin. They're just a cloth cover. Um, the one that I got was Game of Thrones, which is pretty cool. And it's supposed to be here tomorrow, so I can't wait for that. But I did um, order some additional um, accessories, I guess you could say, on jet pens this morning. Um, I got a clear cover. I got the two pack of the idea booklets. Um, I want to say that I got a stencil and there was something else that I can't remember. I guess we'll do an unboxing video when it gets here, but on to the actual planner. Um, so I've already written my name down here and <clears throat> The Jibun Tacho comes in like two different versions. You can get the original, which is Tomoe River paper. And it comes in like a starter kit if you want with like the diary, the life book, and an idea book in a clear cover like this. Um, these covers strictly come with the biz version. And they do come in two different sizes. This is the A5 Slim, and then they have the um, Mini, which is the B6 Slim. Um, in the biz, the paper isn't Tomoe River paper. It's um, what they call Mio paper. And I was really interested to see if I liked this paper. And oh my gosh, guys, it feels like so soft and smooth. I just want to sit here and pet the paper. So as I'm turning um, pages here, it gives you an example of how you can set this up and use it. Um, as you can see, like you've got the little calendar here. You've got a whole column with these boxes, check boxes for to do's. Then you have your days of the week. Under your day of the week, there's the weather. You can check off the weather. There's like a little blank line and then like you have 24 hours worth of time slotted here. You have a little um, section at the bottom, like a little blank section to write some stuff, some notes or whatever in here. Then you have like a little mood tracker. Then you have 
these little boxes that are morning, afternoon, and evening. Um, a lot of people write meal plans in there. So it'll be interesting to see how I use it. Um, then you have your 2019, 2018, 2020 calendars at a glance. Um, this is very similar to the uh, Hobonichi, except the Hobonichi like has it spread out differently and it has, you know, the columns for the months are a little bigger and on multiple pages. Um, this is supposed to start in April and run through... March of 2020, um, but when you go into the calendar pages, which I'll show you shortly, you'll see that you get a little bit more than that. Um, the next thing you have here is an age chart, and what I like about this is though a lot of stuff is written in Japanese, they do put it in English, so you can see what it says, um, and I believe JetPens actually has translation for a lot of this stuff on their website. Um, then you have your dreams for 2019-2020, so like your dreams and your goals, you can write those down. Um, money plan, then you have a sample week that you can set up the way like your ideal week would go, which I think is pretty cool that they do that, and I might give that a go and see what I think. Um, then you have a Japan map, which of course... I don't live in Japan, I live in Michigan, so this is kind of useless to me, but it's still pretty and maybe I'll put, you know, like embellishments or something on here. Um, then you have a page for favorite phrases, a recommendation list, so you can put what it is that was recommended to you, you can write down what you thought of it, and then check it off if you you know, like if it's a book or a movie, if you watch the movie or read the book. Um, then you have a book list, which will come in handy because I am an avid reader. My Goodreads account is always linked down below. So check that out if you want to be friends on Goodreads. And then you have a movie list, which is good for tracking like movies and shows that you maybe like want to watch on like Netflix or Hulu or something like that. Um, gifts received, gifts given. A promise list. So say so-and-so asked you what color lip gloss you're wearing or what color nail polish you have on. You don't remember off the top of your head. You can write in there, find nail polish color for Susie. And then once you've done that, you can check it off, which is pretty cool. And you've got like four columns to do that in. So that's pretty cool. And then you get a blank one that you get to do whatever you want with. So I'll have to give that some thought. Um, this may be a continuation of a book list because I read a lot. Um, and then like one of like the reasons that I wanted this planner so bad was this section here, which is a habit tracking section. Each month gives you habits you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen sections for habits. Um, <clears throat> and then you can mark them every day that you do them. And then at the end of the month, there's a little column that you can tally how many times you did that particular habit. And those run from March all the way through. April of 2020 and as you can see I've started moving um, sticky notes over in my months. The monthly view starts in the March of 2019. You have this whole section of check boxes for like a to-do list. Then you've got some underneath each week. Um, you have the previous month, current month, and following month. Um, <clears throat> your weekends are like a blue and a red. It's a Monday through Sunday. Um, the biz version is also different from the original because the original has more color in it and this one is more monochromatic to give it a little bit more professional look and I like the neutral look better anyway. 
Um, and then you have the tabs. They're really easy to put on. Very, very cute. Let me see if I can... My lighting is terrible because the weather is just crappy today. But it gives you like a little square that you can see through and put it on the three. And they're sticky all the way across here. And then it has a perforated fold. And it says three here. And then you do it to the other side. So then you have all your months. <clears throat> it starts in March. I have it tabbed through February. Then this is March of 2020, April, May, and June. So you have all the way through June of 2020 at a monthly view to plan ahead if you're waiting for your next planner to come in. And then you have your weekly page, of course. Um, I can actually start using this on February 25th which is pretty cool. And it's like the weekly page that I showed you up front in the front of the book. You have your calendar um, with the week that um, you're currently on highlighted. You have your check boxes down the side for a to-do list, uh, days of the week, weather, a blank space here, and then you have 24 hours, a little blank chunk here, your little mood tracker, and I'll try and focus that in for you. Have the little mood tracker there and then the morning afternoon and evening and right now i have my two little ribbon markers one on the march monthly spread and one on the first week um, then this goes all the way through i believe to just the 12th of april yeah because um the end of march coincides with the beginning of April because there's the end of March and here's the beginning of April and then they gave you an extra week and then you have some um, grid paper spreads you have one two three four double page spreads of that um, you have a looking back on 2019-2020 so you have every um, month and you can write a little bit about what happened during the months that you maybe like the highlight of the month that you want to remember um, then you have your personal data I'm not sure what this is I it probably looks like maybe contacts I'm not sure um, but like I said jet pens does offer translations to this stuff so that you know what it is and then you have um, just the back page with like the Facebook page and their Twitter account and then that brings you to the end of the planner um, so that is the uh, G Boon Techo A5 Biz A5 Slim Biz um, with the spring start I am going to give this a try um, I'm going to try and find a cover that I like to put it in if not, I will um, use the clear cover that I ordered because I'm going to put an idea booklet in there so I have more note pages. Now the idea booklet does have the Tomoe River paper in it, um, so it's a little bit thinner. I remember what else I ordered is the little sticky notes that they have for this, which fits into these little card slots. They're like translucent sticky notes. Yeah, I know, squirrel all over the place. But anyway, um, I'm looking forward to trying this out. Uh, I will start doing plan with me's in it when it starts. Um, and I will give you my honest review of it once I've started using it. Um, another reason that I went with the biz over the original was because the Mio paper um, handles gel pen and other types of pen better. Um, while I love using fountain pens, I don't always want to use a fountain pen. Um, and the Tomoe River paper is pretty unkind to a lot of different pens if you're not a fountain pen. So that was another reason why I chose the Biz over the original version. But I digress. Anyway, that is the walkthrough and first impressions of the A5 Slim Shibun Techo Biz Spring Edition. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like planner content on my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, happy planning.